Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will go over the installation of a new hard drive in a 15-inch MacBook Pro. We have already transferred our data and have shut down the computer. So, now that we have a soft, static-free work area and the tools listed in the beginning of this video, we can begin the installation. The first step is to close the lid and flip the MacBook Pro over so that we can remove the battery. This will allow us to get at a number of the screws that need to be removed. The first set of screws we need to remove are the three Phillips screws holding the RAM cover on. Once they are removed, we can access two more screws, which are hidden by the RAM cover. Now that we've removed the RAM cover, we have these two more screws to remove. Note that these two screws are Torx T6 screws, so you'll need the other screwdriver. Once you have removed the two Torx screws, turn your MacBook Pro around until you're looking at the inside front edge of the battery compartment. You'll see there are two more Phillips screws that need to be removed. Now that we have removed all the screws from the battery and RAM compartments, we can proceed with removing the screws along the outside of the computer. The first ones to remove are these four along the bottom rear. These screws are longer than the others and help hold things together. Now we can proceed onto the side with the power adapter. There are four more Phillips screws along this edge that can be removed. On the other side, there are four screws to be removed as well. The last two external screws are located along the hinge side of the MacBook Pro. Once you've removed these screws, you can set the MacBook Pro back down on the work surface and open it up, with the screen tilted back slightly further than 90 degrees. Starting from the back corners, gently lift up along the edges, moving forward until it feels like it's stuck. At this point, use the nylon tool, or spudger, to gently loosen all the way around. Along the front edge, you will likely encounter the most resistance. You may hear and feel some pops when going along this edge. These are the clips that hold the lid in place coming loose. Once you have loosened the entire lid, carefully lift up on the front edge. You will see that there is a ribbon cable connecting the keyboard and trackpad to the logic board. Though there isn't one in this case, very often there will be a piece of yellow capped on tape covering the connector. Disconnect this connector from the logic board and set the lid aside. You will see the hard drive in the front left corner. The first step in removing the hard drive is to disconnect the hard drive ribbon cable from the logic board. Next, remove the two screws along the right side that hold the retaining assembly into place. While the first is easy to see, the second is underneath some wires and can be somewhat tricky to remove the screw from. Once the screws are removed, carefully detach the ribbon cable from the top of the hard drive, then remove the small assembly on the right-hand side of the drive. At this point, you should be able to lift the hard drive up and detach it from its connector. Now that we've removed the hard drive, we can take off the pieces that hold it secure within the MacBook Pro. 
the metal retainer on the right side simply slides right off. Next, we remove the gasket and screw assemblies on the sides of the drive. There are four of them. All you need to do is remove the screws using your Torx T6 screwdriver. As the screws come out, the gaskets will come out with them. Once you've removed all the screws, you can set your old drive aside and put the screws into the new one. Once the screws are in place on the new drive, attach the metal retainer to the side of the new hard drive. Then attach the drive to the ribbon cable and slide it back into place. Reattach the retainer screws. Then replace the small assembly pack back into place and try and re-stick the ribbon cable to the top of the hard drive. Finally, you can reattach the hard drive ribbon cable to the logic board. The next step is to replace the top assembly, making sure to first reattach the keyboard cable to the logic board. Reattach the top by sliding in the front end first. Gently but firmly press along the front end so that the clips re-engage. As you work your way along the sides, make sure all the tabs that hang down are inside the case. If they aren't, you should be able to coax them back into place by using your nylon tool. Double check to make sure that no edges are sticking out. Then, close the cover. The first set of screws to replace are the two by the hinge. The next four screws are on the right side. Make sure you don't accidentally put a screw into the DVI connection, as you'll be unable to get it out. Then, flip the MacBook Pro over and replace the four screws along the left edge. Once that is finished, you can lay the MacBook Pro face down on the work surface and replace the four long screws that go into the back. Turn the MacBook Pro around and replace the two screws along the inside of the battery compartment. Be careful when replacing the screw on the right as the lid magnet is nearby and can grab the screw from the end of the screwdriver. Next, replace the two torque screws near the memory slots. Once those are installed, we can replace the RAM cover and secure it in place with the three wide-capped Phillips screws. Now, we can replace the battery, flip the computer over, and turn it on.